Almost like Ben Affleck smoking or sad Keanu Reeves, I think that the Bernie Sanders meme is one of the best of all time. It is hilarious. So obviously the inauguration was a few days ago and we have a new president of the United States and along with that we have a bunch of different news and, and trends that are going on, especially this Bernie Sanders meme. He is with his huge mittens and a jacket and he is just sitting down in his chair minding his own business and he is a total mood. But I mean seriously, have you seen these memes? They are everywhere. There is every single kind of picture that I scroll through on any social media account is probably a Bernie Sanders meme. But why is Bernie Sanders a meme right now and how do you even become a meme? Because it is not something that you can really plan out. It is more so just a spontaneous moment in culture that people want to relate to or people use as a sort of atmosphere and language and things that they want to communicate. Bernie Sanders himself has been in a few news outlets and saying that he had no idea obviously that he was going to become a meme that he's seen all of these and I well if you have seen these and you know that he has been in wrestling J. Cole memes people put him next to Forrest Gump or in UFC memes one of the biggest things that I think that Bernie Sanders holds is a lot of brand awareness I think that a lot of people know who Bernie Sanders is and a lot of people want to know about Bernie Sanders and what he's up to because he is a staple in what it is to be a celebrity or what it means to be immersed in the world as part of a individual who speaks on the behalf of humans. Bernie Sanders is a politician, not that this is a political video. However, he is also in the entertainment industry now. Bernie Sanders knows how to use social media, therefore he knows what goes on and what can go trending. And it's not so much that he planned this out, but it is that he knows how social media works. So this means that he is more so immersed himself as part of, well, taking the capitalistic way of this moment. The dude went to go sell shirts of his own meme. He sold a bunch of shirts from the Bernie Sanders meme of Bernie Sanders himself, and he donated it to charity. So I think that if anyone is going to do that, besides Mr. Beast, it is going to be Bernie Sanders. I mean, the dude is for legalizing weed, healthcare for all, stuff like that. So I think that the message behind him is what people are connecting to and why they want to blow this meme up and just put it into every kind of thing that they have ever loved as far as pictures and stills go. Think about it this way. People are putting Bernie Sanders next to Deadpool. Like when he is on that ledge, they're putting him next to models. And they put him around Edward's back and around his shoulders like in Twilight. Uh, things that Belle would do or Bella. What other meme do we all know about that is something cute, old, and adorable just to look at. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is old, however he is adorable. He is just this little baby that we could all cuddle if we had the chance. If you have a plush, you probably do the same thing. Bernie Sanders has pretty much the same effect on the United States and anywhere that there is internet and meme making. Which means that he is like everyone's cute grandpa that you just want to give a hug to and well just look at him because he is adorable. And I think it is more frequent than not that you have that figure that you can look up to and just feel feel comforted by if you have a father or a mother or somebody that has comforted you in the past giving you a hug in hard times. That is pretty much the same effect that Bernie Sanders gives to the world. He is this person for everyone. Everyone looks up to him in some sort of way that is comforting. This makes him kind of a really, really widely accepted person, not so much as somebody that we all know that just got out of the White House. So when you are adorable and everyone wants to give you a hug and everyone just looks at you like this precious being that is just has to be saved at all costs, like Baby Yoda, The Mandalorian is a great show and the story around Baby Yoda is even more so cute as to the character itself. So it's really easy to put Baby Yoda in a position where he's just sipping tea and minding his own business or giving that sass. It is equally as effective to give somebody who might be vulnerable in a humanistic way, like I don't see Bernie Sanders being in the UFC or wrestling anytime soon, but that's what makes it cute and funny. It's giving this person that is sort of a public figure that is responsible and for the people and putting them in a position that is just hilarious. Like you can put him in a movie where he would kind of do these ironic things that you would never expect him to do. But that is what makes it the meme and that is what makes it funny. That is what makes it shareable is Bernie Sanders doing a choke slam or putting an arm bar on somebody. Well, there you go. It circulates everywhere. 
So I don't know about you, but if you have any sort of social media platform, you probably have been scrolling through these memes and seeing a bunch of different kinds. They're all hilarious, and if you don't think so, then you're probably just taking it too seriously politically. Yeah, I mean, eventually it's going to get kind of insane just to see nothing but Bernie Sanders. I, I hope it ends soon. But for the time being, it's, it's pretty awesome, and it's even better to see how creative people are getting with Bernie Sanders and his mittens. What do you think about the Bernie Sanders meme? And are you tired of it yet? Honestly, I haven't seen a meme moment that is this big in a little while. I mean, even Baby Yoda wasn't this explosive on the internet. 